Tuscaloosa's B101.7. It's Greg Thomas, joined in studio with Ellen Potts, Executive Director for Habitat for Humanity. Welcome, Ellen. How are you today? Thank you so much. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. We have you in here because we wanted to talk to you about the great tailgate, the barbecue cook-off that you've got planned for Saturday during decaf. Yes, we are very excited. We've got uh, 10 or 12 barbecue teams who will be competing for fabulous prizes on Saturday. The judging starts at noon, and so as soon as the judging is over, um, we will be open to the public for the people to come by and sample barbecue from uh, several different uh, people who are cooking. We've got beef, chicken, pork, and uh, those will be the judging categories. We've also got a People's Choice Award that we will need your help with as a as our our folks come through and sample barbecue we want them to vote on the best barbecue and uh, woods and water just donated a yeti cooler for the people's choice award Um, coach saban and miss terry donated four signed footballs uh, for each of the categories plus the people's choice award and then we've got some restaurant gift cards and some other great things uh, for prizes for our for our participants who are competing a lot going on, and, and that's uh, the good thing about this barbecue cook-off, because some of them, it's not open to the public for people to be able to sample. But in this case, yeah, and it turns into a fundraiser for you. It does. It turns into a fundraiser. Um, we would love to have a donation as you go through and sample barbecue. If you don't want to make a donation, it's not required. But um, we're hoping to, to raise some money for uh, building new houses for Habitat homeowners and also repairing existing houses for people who maybe can't, uh, can't repair their own houses. They don't have enough money. Um, You know, we've got a lot of elderly and disabled people who may be living where, you know, they, it, it rains inside the house um, and things, you know, they, they may have rotting floors, uh, rotting ceilings, things like that. And uh, we, we try to repair homes for those folks and then build homes for new, new homeowners. So coming out to this barbecue event, you're keeping the money right here in town, helping out local families, homes around the area. When you support this barbecue event on Saturday. Whereabouts on the grounds of DCAF? It's Government Plaza, but where will you be set up? Well, we are directly adjacent to DCAF. Basically, we will be on 22nd Avenue between 7th and 8th Streets. So right there in front of the alcove on 22nd Avenue um, and, and between the bank and the law firm and Government Plaza and the alcove is kind of where we will be there on 22nd Avenue. Sounds great, Ellen. Saturday, barbecue cook-off with Habitat for Humanity. We're going to get this information up at B1017online.com. But if people want to learn more about the work you guys are doing or this event, how can they contact you? If they want to know more about the barbecue cook-off, they can go to greattailgatecookoff.com, and all of the information is there on the website. Um, The food will be available until it runs out, so we'll probably start between 1230 and 1245, um, letting people from the public in to taste the barbecue, and and we'll be open as long as the food lasts. And so uh, then if they want to find out more about Habitat for Humanity, or maybe they want to volunteer to help build a Habitat house, they can go to www www.habitattuscaloosa.org. Sounds great. Alan Potts, Executive Director for Habitat for Humanity. Thanks for coming by. Looking forward to the event on Saturday. See you out there. Thank you so much. We'll see you there. B101.7.